Today I'd like to teach you how to make a statue. I made this statue out of this image right here. And it's not a very hard thing to do, but there's steps you're going to have to follow. You're going to notice that this is kind of a similar color. Like they're not too much contrast in color. Uh, that's something that you're going to want to make sure that you don't have when you're selecting your images. All right, make sure they're kind of uh, you know, similar with the hue and uh, you know, like an analogous color scheme, not too much of a contrast. So with that said, I got this image here. I'm going to hold Shift Control U. And what that does is desaturate the image. You're going to have to cut this image out. All right. Um, I did cut the image out of the, the white background. It actually had a black background in the very beginning, which looked like this. So I cut them out. And now I took the background away. Whoopsie. There it is. That's what I want. This image is pretty big. Image, image size. He is 700, 720 by 1240 pixels. That's pretty big. It's 10 by 16. So that's the size I'm working with. Now, um, that's what your end result's going to be. I'm just going to close that out. First thing you need to do is make this man live in a background. So go to File, Open. On my desktop, I did save a background. It's a big background. If you go to Image, Image Size, it's 1920 uh, by 1080. All right. So now that we have uh, the background all set up and everything is good, one other thing that you really should also do is get the texture of a stone. So you're going to want to go to the internet, which I did right here, and I found this great texture. If you type in stone textures, stone texture, you're going to want to get a good texture. And don't have too many spaces. Like You want something that looks like this. It's, got, it's a big size, too. Look at the size of that. And you could see that it's it's got good grains. It's very, very good texture. So I saved it to the desktop. So if I go to file open it's on my desktop it's called texture of stone hit open now you got it open all right and that's very very important you need a good texture next step after we have desaturated it we've opened up our texture we've got our background now we are going to take this image and we're going to put it in our background so go to edit cut you can do copy as well if you wanted to it doesn't matter but just get it out of there and you're going to go to the background image and go to edit paste now it comes into its own layer. You're going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and you're going to want to shrink it a little bit. Maybe I'll put it like right about there. I like how that's going to look. This is going to be an Iron Man statue, so I'm going to move it to right about there. I like it. Hit the Move tool and Apply. I think that looks really, really sharp. All right. Now that we have re uh, placed the image where we want it, we've resized it, and everything is where it needs to be, we're going to get the image ready for the texture. So you're going to take away the background, and you're only going to worry about this one image so that the contour lines of the image gets wrapped around the texture. You're then going to click on the image itself you have that you're going to change into a statue. You're going to go to Layer, Duplicate Layer. After you've duplicated, uh, click Duplicate Layer. You're going to hit the drop menu for the document. Go to New. Name it Displacement. And then you can either hit enter or OK. So I'll hit enter. The only thing left to do now is just to save this to the desktop. So we'll X out of the displacement layer. Yes, you want to save it. You're going to go to your desktop. You're going to call it displacement. Now, I did this project prior, so the file is already there. I'm going to delete the original one. And now you're saving a brand new file called displacement. So this file, displacement, is getting now saved to your desktop as a PSD. Hit save and you're going to hit OK to this prompted menu. We can now go back to the image. We can un make our background visible again. And you're going to open up that texture that you needed. You're going to hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy it. And then you're going to go into your background layer and you're going to paste it in by hitting Control V and it pastes in its own layer and it is a gigantic image if I go to image image size it's like 3,000 um, uh, 1900 pixels rather it's 26 inches wide a very large texture I want good detail once you put the image into your background uh, document you're gonna wanna make sure you're on that filter you're gonna go to filter display uh, distort displace 
and when the displace menu pops up <clears throat> the horizontal scale should be five vertical should be five stretch it to fit for the displacement map and then repeat the edge pixels and you can hit OK you're then going to click on the displacement that you saved to your desktop and open it and you saw that slight shift and I'm going to explain how that's relevant once you've done the displacement part you then go into take this uh, texture away for a minute you're gonna click on the image itself you're gonna hold oh sorry pardon me after you've done that you're gonna hold control and click on the image itself and now that we've done that now that we've done the displacement we're gonna hold control and click on the man himself which is the statue after you have done that you are then going to click on the top layer after we've done that we're going to make a layer mask and now what you've just done is you have put the texture on top of that uh, particular image now the reason there's a reason that you can't see it and I'll explain it in a second after you've got this texture on top of the image you're gonna click on the texture and you're gonna change the blend mode to multiply and what that did is it just put this uh, texture right on top of the Iron Man that I have. It's just really dark. You can't see it too well. So I'll show you how to accommodate. We're going to do something. We're going to revisit the levels menu. So you're going to hit Control L and move this out of the way just so you can see what's going on. And just move it to where it fits to the black. Um, this is done on this texture layer still, okay? That looks very good. Now I'm happy with that. So I'll hit OK also click on the figure itself hit control L or image adjustments levels which is control L <coughs> excuse me and you're gonna bring this up as well and watch the image lighten up a little bit uh, let me just move it out of the way so you can kinda get a good grasp of how it looks that looks really good Iron Man looks like he's made out of sheet metal now that's got beaten with a hammer instead of stone a little bit but it all depends on what you do with the levels to sell it all right, so I happen to think it looks pretty good just like that. And I'm going to hit OK. Now he looks pretty legit. So the project looks good as it is, but we're going to enhance it just a little bit more to show some like depth, some depth. So I'm going to click on the texture itself first. And after I've done that, I'm going to brush some darker shadows on the bottom of the statue. So I'm going to click on this brush here. I want to make sure that my brush size is 40 and the hardness of the brush if you hit the, the drop menu here size 40 hardness of 0 I have a soft edge the opacity um, leave it as a hundred and the mode the mode is not going to be normal the mode will be multiply with an opacity sorry of 40 so I have the mode of multiply for my brush and the opacity can be down to a 40 that's fine now watch how we brush you see how I'm coloring and darkening him a bit we want it to be only where shadows would live you're gonna notice I'm kinda of burning it the burn tool is similar to this alright this part of his leg a little bit here uh, definitely this part of his arm is gonna be darker this part of his neck too where the sun would be right and now he's showing some depth here alright you have to have uh, some knowledge of art like as far as how light works but you do not have to be a rocket scientist to get that accomplished you just gotta look at how light shines basically the shadows alright and those are legit that looks just fine. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to go crazy. Maybe just a little more on that arm because it's back. That's beautiful. All right. Now, after you have done that, all right, as far as I'm concerned, the statue part is done. Now, I'm going to take the background. I'm going to duplicate the background by dragging it down. You can drag it down. Now, I have two backgrounds, okay? On the first background, I'm going to put a Gaussian blur on it. So, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur. Uh, Gaussian blur and you want the radius of that blur to be 3.5 so we're gonna hit OK with that alright now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put see how it blurred out my background a little bit I wanna make the front of the background though 
in focus and I want more of the background to be uh, blurred so here's how we're gonna do that I'm gonna on my same layer I'm making another mask now that I've got my mask made I'm gonna open up the gradient tool and that is done I'm gonna click on my gradient right here and you wanna click on the third option um, select the gradient thumbnail it's the third one it's like a black and white one alright so I've done that the next thing this is really cool watch what this does is it's dark on the top and light on the bottom when you hold shift and you go to the bottom and you simply drag up on that layer mask and let go it now look closely this part of the buildings are in focus and the back part is not it just does a little bit more to the effect of the image you could also do it again and make more of it in focus and that's that and this is it basically we've created uh, from this from this even this before we desaturated it before we even selected it we got this one image we got a background which was this background and then just from this we were able to get this background and create this from this texture so that's how it's done and good luck